I had the video. I don't remember um back in the day when the horseman jumped on Sting. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh yeah. And I gave I gave him a DVD. I think with Bloodsport, and and behind the DVD it had uh, some wrestling matches. And he said uh he said I was. He said I. He said it got hot in this house. Like, what you mean it got? What you mean? It's like they are them damn horsemen on that DVD. You gave me. He, he was like they jumped on Sting. I was like, do they know who they fucking with this Sting? <laughs> I ain't really, I ain't really care for the horse. Well, I like I like the. Uh, there was like seven different versions of the horsemen. You know, I, I know Luger was in there, Sid Vicious, Barry Windham. But I, you know, I, there were so many different horsemen. It was ridiculous. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Even yeah. Paul Roma was a horseman. I like Paul Roma, but um, he didn't look right in there. So, yeah, but anyway, he he, he he cut he cuts flat. He dog cuts flat. It was funny. You had to be, you had to be there. So which version of the horseman was it? It was. The, actually, it was the original Horseman, but with Sting, because uh, I think, uh, <clears throat> let me see, 1990. Yeah, this is when um, Anderson came back, because I remember um, Tully and um, Arn, it was managed by Heenan and WF back in the 80s, um, the Brain Buster, I don't remember that. Yeah. Not. Yeah, so that was when they, was when they came back. So this was 1990. Yeah, this is before Flair went to work for WF for the first time. So yeah, this was right back, like a year before. So was it Wyndham? Or, 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 uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think one of them was out because I think that they, yeah, as a matter of fact, he got, <laughs> he got hot about that. He said, I don't remember a lot of this. Like, but I didn't watch WCW till like 92, 93 when um, Simmons beat Vader. That's when I started watching WCW. But they oh, slammed, God. they slammed uh, <laughs> Windows arm up in the dough. He told me, he said, that MF came back for the two by four. <laughs> oh, boy. I wish he, oh, my God. Oh, oh, he, he, he had me laughing the way he gets so angry. But, yeah, one person that got me that mad was probably Triple H because who? Because I gave him credit because he would be a great movie villain, but I couldn't stand Triple H. Triple H was probably my version of his version of Ric Flair, if that makes sense. Well, yeah, well, like, you see, I mean, that's you, they got evolution, you got they, they started working together. Man. That was good. well, no, yeah, but Triple H, Triple H was that dude that like everybody yeah, I, came. I couldn't stand, I guess, I guess Triple H got mad because uh. Well, he kind of got low. Um, then, um, I know you, um, I think you said, um, some of your videos, you was a Cena fan, and Cena came in. That's when I, that's when I probably, that's pretty much when I stopped watching. I mean, I watched up until 05, like I, I watched probably until 2015 when I was watching, like after like 06, I was just like watching that. Of course, yeah. and this wasn't yeah. into him like that because I remember they kept trying to make everybody like the new Hulk Hogan, even with Lex Luger, they gave me American. USA trunks, and even as a teenager, like you ain't Hulk Hogan <laughs> because Cena, he's he's got strength like Lex Luger, but it wasn't in the um him like because he got that strength just like Lex Luger because he's strong yeah. as hell. It's Luger, damn, he was strong. I mean, I never like I, I'm not a I don't want to say I'm a John Cena fan, mm -hmm. but I did get like I'm I'm working on like I got a whole setup for like a cosplay to be like John Cena or whatever because the shit was on sale. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. But I got some John Cena figures, but like I don't know if I'm like I was John Cena when he first came out and he was doing the whole thugonomics and you know yeah. he was he was rapping and whatnot. I thought that was cool. But yeah, he was started, kind of a bad guy. But I know back in the day they said before, yeah, talking like the you know let's say the heel face thing. He, he was the bad guy for like maybe a year and a half. And then, yeah, uh, and then and then the. The Boy Scout thing, then that was what 06, 07, yeah. Yeah. He was beating everybody. He he beat uh uh well I didn't care about Kali, but he beat Lashley, he beat everybody he could think of. I was like, damn, I know Lashley was didn't didn't have as much time in back then, but I was like, damn, I wanted, you know, Lashley was another guy that could have been a top dog. So Well, I mean, there was a lot of people back hey, then that could have been know. top dogs. They could have been like top of the card main event people that like it just it was just Randy Orton, John Cena, maybe a little bit of Sheamus, and it was just like, yeah, that was a point where you know you if you were a king you loved it, if you were an adult you hated it because they were just pushing garbage. Yeah, because I was coming from um, so I started watching then um, like yeah, if you um, even if you like in your um. Mid mid to late thirties, you probably started watching it either either around the late eighties or early nineties, like either like eighty eight or ninety. You probably started. Yeah. We came from Hogan Warriors. I know people 
I know a lot of people didn't like Warrior either, but Warrior, he was like a comic book, like him or not, he was over. I know the three top guys back then was Hogan, Savage, and Warrior. Well, War, yeah, Warrior was the next guy in line because Hogan and Savage, they had already they already um, established as champions. Yeah. So. yeah. And then Hogan left, did the movies, and I guess, you know, Vince and Warrior had some trouble, and Hogan got the belt back. Again, of course, I wish <laughs> I watched this dude with I'm sure the uh, uh, Solid Monster. He has me laughing because we laugh. Uh, we we, we kind of agree on the same stuff. People are crying about a belt. Like I like my buddy, I was trying to get on the channel because I, I told him I was like, some of these guys probably go to sleep with that damn belt. He he almost fell off the chair laughing. I was dead serious. Like they fall asleep with that belt. They love it so much. Like literally. Yeah. I, like I, I don't know. My thing. I always tell people like I watched a little bit in the eighties. Watched more of the cartoon than I did anything else. I was a big junkyard dog fan for the longest. I had him uh, on the what year was I don't know if it was eighty six or eighty seven. I had the um he had like the red trunks and the white boots, right? Yeah. Yeah, I had those those big giant those dumb things. Were LJ, the LJ, yeah. Worth a lot of money now. I got yeah. that up there. They're up there. I got like pretty much all his figures now, yeah. but um. But then I kind of fell off, and then I picked it back up like Stone Cold Rock time. Yeah, I seen him. I wanted the um, the uh, they, had, they made like a Masters of the Universe Junkyard Dog and um, yeah, Mister T. I, I saw Mister T at Walmart, but I didn't get him. But I, and I, but I never could find Junkyard Dog. Tell yeah, that's that. he has yeah. the spike the spike or vest on. Yeah, yeah. No, a bunch of Mr. T's now, but um, I know somebody oh, yeah. IG made a custom. They she they are, they trying to they trying to put out as much Mr. T as possible before they lose it. Before they lose that, because they they're not, and they're gonna they're gonna probably put out some some uh, more Muhammad Ali's too. I seen I, th I think that's an exclusive, right? But I seen that and um, because like I don't um collect only wrestlers I I picked up like. This has been a while ago. I picked up, I think it was like a SH Fig Arts Undertaker. Okay, yeah, yeah. I got D'Lo Brown. Not, that's, that's not Fig Arts. That's um, Mattel, the D'Lo Brown. And I got... um The recent one? No, it's an old, this old D'Lo Brown. This oh, is the okay. one he had, he had that chest thing on when Dan Severin messed him up real bad and stretched yeah, him. Yeah. And I got... um I know, <laughs> I know, boy, uh, uh, I guess he, um, he's AWOL a day on. Uh, 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 AMW, uh, I got a what's that figure? Uh, Nia Jax. Yeah, he'll tell you about. He's like, he's like that boy sweats some Nia Jax, boy. Oh, a video about her the other day. I hope she comes back. I know she's probably gonna be no time soon, but well, there's talk that she might be coming back. Yeah, because it looks like she it looks like unless unless it's like airbrushed or whatever. It looks like she lost some weight. So yeah, she's yeah, she's getting little on me. She's getting a little little thin now. Um, yeah, it's a little too thin. A little too thin. Remember, 